Born Freeze say there are a lot of socio-economic issues facing young people which they want political parties to look into and through consultation make them part of the solution. The first group of Born Freeze took part in the national elections in 2009. So when it comes to manifestos, people don't want vague promises. People don't want vague, you know, we'll definitely do this, we promise that we'll do this. People want like concrete information. A policy that says we're going to do this we're going to fund it with this these will be the accountability measures and this is how we're going to hold people responsible if it doesn't work that's the kind of information people want in manifestos not just big promises I believe that um, more research and more um, involvement youth involvement involvement specifically needs to be done during setting up of these manifestos because um, Many a times our political leaders or those running for presidency in our political parties, they have somewhat similar and the same promises for the nation and the youth. So it's imperative for them to involve young people, especially born frees, because um, they are 52% of registered voters for this year. And I think it's important that they are involved because they have energy, you know, they have new ideas. Having looked at the manifestos, I think it's only a swapper party having also maybe that has the experience that actually has a concrete plan or strategy, but most of the other political parties, whether they're talking about nationalizing their mines or giving land to Namibians, they have all these good ideas, but they don't really tell us how they plan about uh, uh, go how they plan on going about doing uh, these things. So yeah, that's my opinion. They say although there have been improvements here and there, areas such as development, unemployment, free education, promotion of sports and youth entrepreneurship development still lag behind. Um, since we voted the first time, I would recall was in 2009 as Born Freeze, um, we have seen significant changes in terms of infrastructure, in terms of technology, in terms of just training facilities and opportunities for the youth in the country. But I believe there's so much more that can be done. There's so much more youth involvement, you know, training. And I believe that, you know, the leaders need to take a, take a more serious stance in terms of employing these things, the promises that were made. Because we're seeing more and more reports of problems that are coming from government and people are demanding answers and I think it's important for politicians to actually be able to give them because it takes away from their credibility if people are, are asking really serious important questions and they're not able or not willing to give answers. Yes, I think there have been interesting in the developments, especially like I think there are more young people involved in the democratic process and are more interested in elections than the previous elections, I would say. The majority want to be shielded, falling through the poverty cracks and be provided with a social security net. They say they will support any political party that will address bread and butter issues. More than 400,000 born frees are registered voters for this month's presidential and national assembly elections. Voter demographics show that it is the third largest voting bloc after women, who represent more than 700,000 voters on the register. However, there are also a sizable number of women among the born frees. Franklin Muningirwa, NBC News, Vantuk.